So we're going to address what I would consider the four biggest, most crippling little voice issues of all. The first one, which probably is the biggest of the big, is fear. Let me ask you a question. Do you, would you have a particular problem with complete and total public humiliation? If I told you, if I gave you a choice and I said, okay, we're going to put you on a stage in front of 100,000 people in a stadium and you're going to sing a musical solo alone by yourself, a cappella, no backup, no accompaniment, nothing, and you're going to do that task for five minutes or you can pay me $20, which would you do? Well, most people would pay the $20. If, now, if you said you're going to do it anyway, we have a whole new program for you. But seriously, most people consider that be greater than the fear of death. In a study I read, death was number three on the list. Rejection by your peers was like the second biggest fear. But where does that come from? Why is that such a big deal? Well, I'll ask you the question I asked you earlier. Have you ever been gone to school? Of course, we've all gone to school for a little while. And maybe you remember a time, or maybe it was you, or maybe a friend of yours, teacher asked a question, you raised your hand. And even though you raised your hand with all the excitement to come up with an answer, to look good for your teacher, to look good in front of your friends, Maybe it was the wrong answer. Then what happened? All the kids laugh. <laughs> kids are laughing. Teacher tells you you're wrong. And you learn very quickly that it's embarrassing to put your hand up. It's embarrassing to take a risk. And so very early in most all of our lives, we learn that taking a risk can be a problem, that we could get laughed at. And probably the biggest fear that I see in business people, salespeople, um, business owners, is the fear of what other people think about you or the or what they don't think about you either way it's kind of the same issue your concern do people like me that fear is probably the most debilitating of all but once you learn how to handle the fear once it comes up and we're going to be talking about this in the confidence section how to overcome that instantly once you've gone through it it's not such a big deal look making mistakes is not a big deal because that's how you learn right but they don't teach you that in school. In school, you learn to get punished for making mistakes, get laughed at for making mistakes. And it's not so much about the mistake, it's how you look after you made the mistake, who you got to answer to, who, do you, who are the people that care about that. So just think about this for a moment. If you could lose the fear of what other people think about you, how much more effective would you be? How much more could you get done? My first, the only thing that saved me in my first sales position is I went out and made, finally made 68 cold calls in one day after I was told I was going to be fired because I was making no sales calls. Well, you know what happened? 68 cold calls in one day. You know how much I sold? Nothing. Zero. But something important very, ha very much happened after about the 10th call. I accomplished probably the most important sale of all. And you know what it was? That's right. It was me selling me to me. After about 10 calls, I didn't care what other people thought about me anymore. It became a game. How long can I stay in there until somebody kicks me out of here? I go running in with a, I was selling calculators door to door. I come in with my calculator under my arm, slam it on a desk, say, I'm going to show you a demonstration that's going to blow your socks off. And people are going, who is this idiot? It became fun. It became a game. But it was terrifying in the beginning. It took me weeks and weeks of driving in my car, my little voice going, nobody's going to want to listen to you. You're an idiot. These are too expensive. You're going to look like a fool. To get past it until threatened with my job and knowing I was broke anyway, I had to make a decision. So one of the great ways of overcoming the fear is obviously is to take the step, but you've got to make that decision. And we're going to talk about how you can make that decision right away before the end of the program.